KP, you spent $10,000 on butt implants? The ink on their passports isn't even dry yet, and these 90 Day Fiance couples are already getting into it. From an ex's butt implant payments to a lack of an indoor bathroom, which is valid, I can't believe how quickly things are collapsing in on themselves like a dying star. Whoa! And it's making for a great watch, so let's get into it 90 Day Fiance Season 10, Episode 3. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Let's start with Jasmine and Gino, who spent most of this week's episode making the FCC sweat. Let's just say their spark is back. Dr. Gino at your services! And so is their fighting, because Jasmine just found out that Gino quit his job to spend more time with her. Great move, Gino. He is jeopardizing the chance that I have to bring my kids to the United States. But Jasmine has a secret of her own. She spent her $8,000 wedding dress fund on butt implants. Are you kidding? And Gino's gonna be extra mad when he finds out that extra two grand for the procedure came from Jasmine's ex, Dane, but that is a fight for another episode. What else is she lying to me about? Moving on to Nikki and Igor slash Justin, Nikki finally made it to Moldova. I mean, remember, she's trying to see if this is the real deal before they go through with their second K-1 visa in the States. And I'd say they're excited to see one another, or at least Nikki is. What feeling I had was a tingly feeling between my, my legs. Justin might be enthusiastic too, but we find out in this episode that Nikki's been paying for all his cosmetic surgeries and a lot of other stuff. She does give him an allowance. I'm not sure how much, but it is a nice chunk. This might be more of a sugar mama thing than they first let on. Especially because Justin says he doesn't want to take Nikki out at night for her own safety. I could see this as genuine. Justin said Moldovan attitudes about trans people aren't the best, but Nikki takes it a little differently. Are you afraid of taking me out in public at night because you're scared that they're going to judge me on the way that I look or they're gonna be able to tell I used to be a man? And then Justin says this. You look like a porn actress. And we're off to the races with those two. Better been off to the bathroom at Sophie and Rob's though. What's even bougie about having a bathroom inside your apartment? Team Sophie here, Rob is really living up to his Rob the Knob nickname so far. He's a really upset that Sophie wants indoor plumbing. I mean, 19th century probs, am I right? I said we're not gonna talk about this every day. He's also really upset that Sophie wants to talk about him exchanging explicit pictures with a woman online in the past. When are you gonna let it go? These two so seem like they're ready to get married, but hopefully the venue at least has indoor plumbing. All this is going down as mother effin' Rico Suave sleeps soundly next to Manuel, Turns out that that and Ashley's witch thing had a simple solution. We banged it out. We always bang it out. Mm -hmm. Simpler than the whole vegan meat situation. Me dijo Ashley sobre leche que no era leche o uno chorizo, una longaniza, pero que no es carne. But Ashley's mom is still sketched out that Manuel didn't tell his family he was leaving to go to the U.S., including his two teenage sons. Manuel said he didn't want to upset them, but his mom didn't seem super upset when he eventually broke the news. Lo único que te pido. Nunca te olvides de la familia que tienes acá. I don't know. There's something else going on here, though. We see it in the previews for next week, so TBD with that. Manuel's family's been blowing up my phone. Why are you calling so much? Wow, these couples really wasted no time making each other miserable, and for that, I thank them. So let me know your favorite couple to watch in the comments, like and subscribe, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>